few more questions. We know you must be tired. I have the nurses setting up a bed for you in Trisha's room. Does that sound good, Tommy? Tommy? Uh-huh. Now, the man who attacked you. Jason. <sighs> okay, we can call him Jason for now, but we're still trying to identify who he really was. You don't believe me? Tommy, your sister told us that you shaved your head before you attacked Jason. Why? I thought that if I looked like him, that he would listen to me. That we could understand each other. When you say understand each other, you do understand that the man who did this was extremely dangerous and disturbed, right? Yeah. No one is mad at you, Tommy. We know that you killed him in self-defense. But you do understand that killing is wrong. Even though he was a bad man, do you feel sad about killing him? I'm sleepy. Tell me how you're feeling about killing the man, Jason. I don't know. Had you ever killed anything before, uh, an animal or something? I don't think so. You don't think so? Do you think it's wrong to kill someone, Tommy? Hey, I have a visitor here who would very much like to see Tommy. Huh? Gordon! Oh, Gordon, you're okay. Thank God, Gordon, old boy. Detectives, I must insist that Tommy sleep. He's been through a lot. More than any boy his age should ever go through. We still have a lot of questions that need answering, Dr. Marino. And I will help you with that, Detective Rigo. But right now, I'm going to put Tommy and Gordon here to bed. Excuse us. Come on, Gordo. <laughs> Let's go see Trish. It gives me the creeps. Did he say anything else that could help us figure out who our John Doe is at the morgue? Eh, just more Jason Voorhees bullshit. That's why they sent me. Sir, Jason Voorhees is quite real to the good citizens of Crystal Lake community. We've been through a lot here over the last few years. Yeah, a lot of copycats. A lot of deranged psychopaths who want to see a sick ghost story come true. With all due respect, Detective Rigo, that... With all due respect, Detective Webb, Jason Voorhees drowned in that lake of yours back in 1957. It was his psychotic mother that started all this, and your good citizens who created this bogeyman bullshit. If your department can't identify whoever this deranged kid chopped up, then instruct the morgue to make up a name to give the public, and then cremate him. This Jason Voorhees shit ends now. Am I understood? But, sir, if I may just... You may not. That's all for now, Detective. Yes, sir.